Okay, friends, I'm really excited to jump in and just give you a quick tutorial about how to set up your business in MeWe. So unless you've been under a rock, this is, let's see, this is November 9th, 2020 that I'm recording this. And unless you have been under a rock, you know that Facebook, tons of people are exiting and they're coming over to, oh, of course, I hang in just a minute. <laughs> Uh, they're coming over to MeWe. All right, so I need to move this out of the way. Sorry, I have this little bar I need to get out of the way for you guys. I don't know if you can even see it. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this, I right now prefer to use MeWe on my desktop. It it's just seems to be a little bit easier to navigate as far as setting things up. I'm sure you can do it on mobile, but this just seems to be way easier. So this is what your home screen looks like for what I would consider your personal profile. Okay, a lot of this is gonna look very similar to what you see on Facebook. And it's just a matter of knowing where to go and where things are. It's very similar, but there's just, you know, just a couple things, I'll kind of give you a little, little showcase here. Um, on the personal side, you know, you can go in, set up a personal profile and um, I've already done mine. Of course, you can create your, you know, your cover. Um, this gives you an option to see, you know, who, who are your contacts, who are you friends with, basically. Of course, they're calling them contacts, which is fine. Um, this is going to show you who you've blocked. Of course, I've already blocked some people over here, you know. <laughs> um, but it's going to show you all the people that you're friends with. And, uh, of course, we all know our friends list will probably be growing. And I haven't even, honestly, on my personal profile as of yet, I haven't even updated a lot of this stuff because I just, I haven't yet. Um, if you want to share your personal link, you know, with friends to join, like if you want to share it over on Facebook and say, hey, follow me. There you go. But this video, really, I want to show you how to set up a business page because that's what's really important, obviously. Some of the things I'm going to say I'm not 110% sure of because I don't, I haven't read like all of the rules through MeWe. I just wanted to get this out there so that people could set up a business page if they so chose to do that. And then, you know, if there's other things we need to, I need to follow up with and do some videos, I will. But this is my personal profile. Um, this is going to be what your homepage is going to look like. So just FYI, as you're going through it, you're going to see these are all from your friends, your uh, the, the pages you're going to follow, the groups you're a part of. So in order to start a business page, I'm going to create one on this um, on this video. I'm just going to create essentially a fake one. I'll go back and delete it. So if you hover over pages, you can see I've already set up a page for Yellow Bar Media. And I want to create a new page. So I'm going to uh, make it um, Friends of Jamie. Um, I just created one of these. And here's the other thing you have to know, which I am fine with this because of the reason why a lot of people are leaving Facebook or, you know, moving off of Facebook is because of the censorship for a lot of conservative language. I have no problem giving them a dollar 99 of my money. So if, if that's a bother to you, then, you know, don't use it. But if you're in a, if you have a business, a dollar 99 should be no problem. Um, so I'm going to select the category. Now, this is where it's a little weird. I didn't find a ton of business categories. So, you know, for example, what I use, the one that I found that seemed to be the most fitting, and probably most of you that are watching this is product or service. Okay. Um, so for me right now, though, I'm just going to put this put me in as a public figure, I'm probably going to delete this page. But um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to walk you through it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a profile picture. And you give me just a minute. I'm going to find this. I'm literally just walking you through exactly, exactly the way you would do it um, on your computer. Obviously, your headshots might be, you know, somewhere different, but you have them saved somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to upload that. I'm going to save it. A lot of this you're going to see is a lot like Facebook. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload a cover photo. And I think I have somewhere in here a really nice picture. Um, I do marketing, so there's gads of graphics on my computer, but I believe, or so I thought, I had an American flag in here somewhere, um, which I don't think I do. So here's, I'm just going to upload this. It's just a random, random thing. Again, you know, you can create these on your own, and of course, you can change any of these as well. Um, right now, because I'm setting this up and I don't really care, it's $1.99, I'm just going to go ahead and have it run through PayPal, and... It's gonna, oh, okay, that's odd. I I did I just did this with mine and I did not have a pop-up blocker. Okay. Okay, well, let's just do this. Apparently, I don't know why. 
sorry, there's a little, little uh, quirk here, which, you know, again, I'm walking you through this live as I'm doing it. So let's just, oh, here we go. Okay, it was just hidden. Um, yep, we're gonna say it's all right. And we're gonna go from there. And we're gonna go into setting our page up. I'm just gonna do this lightning fast. And this will just take a minute. <laughs> and uh, let me see. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Okay, so I just went through that and I'm gonna go ahead and just pay $1.99 to have this, no problem. And it says my purchase has been complete. So it should redirect me. Uh, okay, so now I wanna visit my page. And of course you can see how this looks. Um, obviously I probably graphically would change this out. Okay, so that this stuff isn't being covered and whatever, I would make it more clear. But for the sake of time, it's not gonna matter right now. Um, so now you're on your page and you can see it's gonna look very similar to Facebook. You have your analytics, um, a scheduler, your notifications, your settings. I wanna go to settings. This is where you're going to see, again, you can change your page category if you figure like it'd be better set up as an actor. And this is a test page. But this is where you'd put in your description. Okay, I'm going to save that. And some of this too for you is just going to be going through this. And okay, here's your contact information. You would fill all this in if you're a business for all of your contact information. Um, this is just verifying, you know, do you want it published or unpublished? Of course, if you're building the page, you could just leave it unpublished until you had some content here if you wanted. Um, you know, what are my permissions? You wanna set up your permissions. If I want to, and I have not done this, I haven't added another page admin. I'm probably gonna test this out. But again, this is where, um, for example, if you're one of my clients and you're like, hey, Jamie, I want you to set up this page for me. Um, you know, we would set it up for you. I would create myself as an admin as well um, so that I can manage the page. You can transfer page ownership or delete the page. Um, the subscription payment, if you need to manage your subscription, basically if you're canceling it, that's where you would go to do that. Notifications, this is nice because when you get a new platform, when you're on a new platform, a lot of times you'll start getting all these notifications and you're like, oh, it's just too many. Um, so you can set it up, which is pretty cool, how you wanna get notified on your activity, which I think this is a wonderful option that I don't believe Facebook had because some of us sometimes have schedules where we're like, okay, we need to not be getting notifications. And yes, we can change it on our phone and do all that, but this is gonna be helpful here if you just wanna get notifications every four hours or you can just turn them off completely. And then this will tell you who's following you. And then if you need to ban anyone, you have the ability to do that as well. Obviously, we don't have any analytics yet. Um, the schedule, um, it looks like here, you could, which this is cool because Facebook has the uh, creator studio. You can just go to create a new post um, here. And this is, again, I'm just doing a test post. And um, let's just do this picture of the donuts. Uh, and then we could tell it, you know, when we wanted to schedule. Today at one o'clock, we're gonna schedule it and we're good to go. So it, we can go in here and we can schedule right from MeWe, which is probably really helpful because I don't know if a lot of the other schedulers, like for example, I use later, a lot of you use Hootsuite or um, schedulers like that. I don't know if they actually have the option to connect to MeWe yet. So this is a really cool thing as a business owner. You can go in, create your posts and have them scheduled. Um, also down here on your left is your page link once you get it set up and you want to share this. If you want to let people on Facebook know that you are on MeWe now as a business, here's where you would grab that link. Um, and then, of course, you know, you go back to your posts and this is where you would put in, you know, all of your different posts so people can see. And my friends are probably getting crazy notifications being like, what is Jamie doing? <laughs> um, and again, you can edit all of this information. Um, and this is where I don't know the rules. So maybe you can change the page name a million different times. I don't know. I know on Facebook, you could only change it like once every 30 days or something like that. Um, so you can change the description, change all your photos here. So it's very pretty, pretty simple. Um, you have your about page your photos and videos, and then of course your posts. So it's very similar to Facebook friends. Um, so that, but again, I just wanted to walk you through it. The other thing is a lot of you as businesses also have groups. And so you may have private groups. And when you click on groups and you come down here, there's a little, the little four, four little dots plus the plus sign. 
And that's where, you know, you would put in new group, your group description, and then, you know, your group photo, choose your group color, hit next, and then create that. Um, so there's, it's very, very similar. Um, I'm going to cancel and close. It's very similar to Facebook. And then if you go to my home, <laughs> um, let's see, I don't know if we'll be able to, um, I don't know how the feed actually, I don't know how the algorithm is yet on MeWe as far as who sees what and when. Um, the, the couple things that I just did are actually not there right now. Um, but I imagine possibly my friends are seeing them. Um, and that I don't know. So there's a lot of things that I am unsure of, but I'm going to be diving in today and learning more. But I hope this will be helpful to you so you can understand where to set up pages. And literally, if you've set up a business page on Facebook, it's very similar. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Again, I am by no means any kind of an expert on this with the exception of I understand social media and how it works and what, what types of things we need to be posting and that kind of stuff. So if you also need help with that, or if you say, hey, Jamie, will you just set this up for me? Or, you know, you need a half an hour or an hour coaching yourself, and I can walk you through all the things. Just let me know. I'd be happy to help. Y'all have a good day.